everyone we are playing EU4 everyone and let me just say right now I did not expect to be playing this game right now and by the way if you guys don't know me my name is Stray James I'm very much a strategic gamer that for some reason acts like an adventure gamer or you know it's a like really enthusiastic guy like I really like to be enthusiastic and like to dunk so just want to tell you guys about me, but anyways, I did not expect to be playing EU4. In fact, I've been kind of like giving messages all the time saying I won't be, I won't be able to do this. But for some reason, today I got one of the luckiest breaks ever. My request to get a free copy of EU4 from Paradox actually went through. They gave me the free copy, and let me say I'm so thankful to to Paradox right now. They didn't have to do that, and they didn't have to support me at all. I mean, I am pretty small, and you know. I'm not exactly the biggest, I mean, every subscriber matters to me, but, you know, I, I know in the long run I'm not that big, but for them to actually do that to me, it, it, it just conveys so much, like, appreciation and, like, trust that they have in me, and just, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart that this would not be possible without them, so everyone, give them a round of applause, Paradox Games, you rock! <laughs> But who did not know that anyways? So guys, anyone, now let's actually get down to this Let's Play, everyone. The Let's Play we are doing today is Sweden. We are going to be in the neutral Sweden. But in this timeline, we are not neutral. We are actually warmongers. Which is a way more fun Sweden than nowadays. Nowadays, Sweden's not as fun. Just not as fun. But this day, Sweden. <laughs> Much mayhem we can cause, you see. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn, I can't do a Jedi voice right now. Anyways, so, basically, guys, what we are going to be doing is a couple things in Sweden. Our outline goal in Sweden is two things. One, we are going to first form Scandinavia, okay? And then that's going to encompass a whole bunch of goals we're going to cover in a second. And then two, once we form Scandinavia, my goal is that I want to go all the way to the New World and start colonizing over here. I want to be the first... I want to actually establish a permanent colony in the Americans and actually make sure that Eric's Red, Eric the Red's journey was not in vain. It was for a purpose. It was for the purpose that Sweden would eventually become a great power. Okay, so anyways guys, like I, yeah, that's my general outline of my goals. So, um, let's actually get to the first goal, which is to form Scandinavia. Now, to form Scandinavia, guys, I've done just like a quick test run of the games. It's actually not the hard as you would think, because right now, the right now, if you guys have, don't know this, Sweden and Norway start in a personal union with Denmark, so we're basically subjugate vassals of Denmark. And with that, we cannot do really any diplomatic options of declare war or expand. So obviously, you instantly have to figure out how to defeat Sweden or uh, Denmark. Denmark, not Sweden. We don't want to defeat ourselves. That'd be very bad. Infighting is very bad. So you, you basically have to figure out a way to basically get you know, all of this, you know, break away from Denmark, and I found that the easiest way to do this, and it's kind of cheap, a little, it's a little bit cheap, but the easiest way to do this is just send your fleet that you have right here, right here, of all these guys, it has a, it has a good amount, so you'll, don't worry, you'll be able to do this, and what you do is that when the Denmark sends its troops, whatever, how many troops they have, they'll send it over here to go conquer back the island of Gotland, you just go over here to clear war in that exact moment and then just sink their ships. Boom! And that destroys most of the army and with that you can basically, from there you can basically destroy the, you can destroy the rest of them. I mean, these guys, I'll be honest with you, it is not that hard to destroy the, uh, um, what are they called? The, uh, Norwins. So, yeah. Like, you guys, you guys will soon see my strategy, and, oh my goodness, this game is running so smoothly. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to wait for them to do their, so, their, uh, conquest of, okay, I got to get the hotkeys down. Okay, I can click it by clicking one, two, okay, I got to start. I think in this game, guys, I should probably mention by now, I have not played any of the demos or anything like that, so I'm still kind of learning this game as I go, but I think in this game, I think for once, Due to all my friend, all my subscribers' happiness, I'm actually going to 
use hotkeys. Yes. I'm actually gonna try to use hotkeys. Only because it's actually my screen is way too big for myself. And so it's actually a little bit hard to travel from places. And something I realized before is that the game volume is actually pretty dang loud. So I'm gonna like turn it down the light about here. That should be good. Now you guys can clearly see my sexual voice. Oh my sensual voice. That's a better word for it. Sensual voice. Alright. Let's go. Let's go now. Let's just go now. So yeah. We have to just wait, like as you can see, we just have to wait for them to send whatever army they're gonna send, like you see, they're gonna divide the army into five stacks, which with this amount, with this amount that they're sending over to go, you know, to go over to the islands, we'll be able to, like, we can legitly fight this many troops. Okay. Alright, not many, these, this many troops, we can fight that many ships. Uh, maybe we can't fight that many ships. But what we could do is just basically stranded. Wait, can we actually go across this island? No, we can't. The other option we could do is actually stranded because basically we need to become independent like this episode. Like there is no other episode that we become this independent. Okay. So let's see, those six soldiers are going right there and... I think though, I... Th two, eight, six. Let's see, what do we have? Three, seven, four. I think these are slightly better though. In terms of firepower, well, I am building a uh, early Carrick, but that's not gonna be done for another year. And right now we have a perfect opportunity to wipe out some Swedes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> you know what? Like I said, oh, I should always mention to my subscribers, I am a very impulsive gamer. Da -da -da -da! Impulsive time! And who is our new king? Cause as you guys, I didn't get to show it off, but there was actually a new king. We actually get a new king now that we uh, did that. Who is our new king? King Carl Ribbing. He is actually not that bad. He only stinks in militaristic stuff. So, yeah, we won't be having enough money for a very long time to do much stuff. Okay, so let's do this. Hopefully that will be enough because I basically have no other fleet if that is not enough. Okay, and they will be done when they are done. And basically what I'm going to go do now is we're going to go kick out the uh, Denmark people okay let me do this unhappiness among the clergy gain lose power or lose I don't really care about the Pope <laughs> I'm keeping kind of I, I should probably mention by now I don't really I'll, I'll care about my religion to a certain extent but I'm not really big on the whole entire thing all right it's up to you guys I probably should have bought a commander before I oh shoot this is really bad rolls that is not, that is not a good, maybe, we might win, we might win it after all, I mean, we just need to win one battle, and then we're going to be fine, and if not, what we're going to be doing is basically just crushing, if not, then we still got a good chance we're going to be crushing all these guys, is it shift click, is that how you like transfer, okay, yeah, it's click, it's right click, okay, go right there, Let's see how we're doing in the battle. Oh my goodness, it's 20 ships. Retreat, retreat. That is just way too much. I I could admit right now that that is just way too much. Like, soldiers to be doing anything. Alright, you guys are going to go right there. I know Norway's going to be trying to invade me. We'll deal with that situation as it comes. First, we have to deal with the uh, Denmark situation. If we destroy half the army right now, we should be fine. Okay, you better not... Why are you guys hitting so badly? You guys are terrible troops. You guys are terrible, terrible troops. But luckily, if things really, really go bad, I do have a backup strategy. That is to reload the game! Ha 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 No, guys. I actually do have a backup strategy, which is I'll buy lots and tons and tons of money. Okay. So let's see. Um, the troops are retreating right here. We should probably go smash them right there. You guys, you guys aren't going to get very far on your siege for a very long time. Alright, uh, we have some little mi little mini Holdenstein troops. Let's go smash the rest of these guys so that we don't have to deal with them. From there, what I think I'm going to be doing, they're retreating. So I should be able to smash whatever soldiers. Yeah, they should, they should not be able to get away. They got away from me. Really? Okay, well, anyways... Um, what we're going to be doing is basically, 
Can we do this? Yes, we can. Basically, what we're going to be doing is, um, kind of dividing. Should we divide the army? I'm really debating on this. Yeah, let's divide the army. Sure. So let's see. You guys are four, are 4K. What well, I'm going to do with you guys, I'm going to send you guys back to the mainland. And what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to kind of... Actually, I need an attack force. So actually, you guys go and kill off these guys. I was going to go say we should do more, but... Ooh. Actually... Well, these guys are already going to be there. So you guys, everyone... Everyone join in. Ooh. Okay, let's go! And let's hope they don't have their navy come and like block me because that would be really bad right about now. Let's see, my, my military is still kicking their butt though, that's the sad part. And now I have all my men. Ooh. There we go, we destroyed their entire army. Uh, probably I must be in my own country. guys go into what they have no morale is that it oh there we go just had to wait a little bit guys I thought it was a glitch there but it's just me me just doing stuff so yeah now that we have most we destroyed the majority of the troops it probably I was hoping they would actually send some more troops to come attack me over here in Stockholm over here but over here in Stockholm or over here on the seas with their oh they landed the troops right on top of me and they're actually winning that is not a good sign. Now they're not winning. So now the entire, basically Denmark's army has just been defeated by my army. By really no coincidence of my, really no coincidence. We at Sweden were obviously the better people here. So let's see, just have to wait a couple seconds. It should start to die. Come on guys, kill the rest of, kill the rest of Denmark. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely contribution. Now please group up. Go kill them. Go destroy the rest of the Sweden army. Then from there, I think we're going to go kill off the rest of Normandy. And then we're just going to like... Because we're already getting ticking war score from this war. Because we... All we have to do, guys, is just basically hold our capital. If we do that, then we basically win this war. So... That's basically all we have to do. So as soon as we destroy this army, we're basically going to retreat them. And... Maybe what we might do is actually go press some of our claims on Normandy right now. Alright, now that we destroyed all these guys, go across the river. We're going to go kill this army, this army, and then we should be good. I still got a lot of more army. The legitimacy, not very strong right now because we just got a new ruler and we're still, like, establishing ourselves. I could I could imagine why. I mean, it's not, it's not like, completely, like, stupid, like, you know, I'm not ignorant to the fact that, you know, we're still a new nation. Really? Really? You're gonna be you're gonna be one of these kind of people. You're gonna be one of these kind of people, aren't you? Okay, go! Go, men! Cross the strait before those other men get back here! Okay. Quickly! Come on! Go! Go, men! Go! Go for the might of our em Oh! You know, that was just perfect timing. That was not... That was just perfect timing and bad timing on your part. Okay, let me get back to my land. Okay. Units have suffered casualties, I know. Alright, we are starting to take some major losses, but I can deal with them for a little bit longer. I can deal with them long enough to... To not have to deal with them. Well, not have to, That's not the word I was looking for. But it's the word I'll use. Um, okay, let's see. 50%, no, I still am not over the limit, so it still should be counted fine. Let's go kill some... Let's go defeat some of the... Uh, territory over here. Let's go defeat some of Normandy's, you know, land or soldiers. And that should basically clean up the rest of this. In fact, I probably should make sure this... I don't want to make this episode too long because, you know, I like to keep you guys a little bit in suspense. But, let's see. Let's get the end of the year bonus. Because that will give me like a couple more thousand troops. Okay, you guys are obviously starting to do death stacks. Once I deal with the rest of Normandy, I'll come back here and go deal with you. Because I don't want you to become strong at all. That would be a bad idea. Denmark, he's mainly making men though. He's not really making regiments. Which is a bad thing on his part because he should be making more regiments. Okay, he's becoming slightly more powerful than I think he is. 
Taking no attack nutrition for that. Or no ways out of the game. No ways out of the game. Oh wait, now my oh my goodness, that got turned against me really quick. Fight, my men! Fight! Okay, how are they doing over here? They're still doing relatively fine. I still got good enough manpower to do stuff. Okay, and Denmark. Let's see for peace. Let's see, would they allow me to leave? Wait, am I losing this war? For annexation. <laughs> if only. Although I wouldn't mind having that. Yeah, oh I know why I'm losing. It's because of these blockades. Like I ain't I'm not actually losing, I'm losing because of the blockades. I hate that. I hate that mechanic, like blockades give you so much. Give you so much right. My st stupid Almost there, actually. Almost there. When this comes out, I think we will have a big advantage over the scary, 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 uh, uh, Denmarkians. Because then we'll have our first Karak, and they won't even have a Karak. But we should get Ticking War Score over time. Battle of Flynn, Blockade. Yeah, you see, mostly I'm losing because of blockades, not because of anything in particular, just because of blockades. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here for a second, gain up some of my men, my manpower. And I do have a stability problem right now, which is not helping us at all. Boost stability, yes, please do, because that actually helps our money grows. Okay, we need to destroy this army before it becomes too powerful. I'm gonna wait here for a second. This is not... How big of a modifier is this? Hills... Not too big. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have too big of a problem destroying this army right here. Let's see, and then end of the year bonus. Let's see, no, you guys are gonna go right there? Okay, I'll go right here too. <laughs> oh, I love this back and forth sometimes. Alright, and yeah, so basically guys, we're gonna be doing that. Hmm. I can't, I can't break the blockade yet. I have to wait until I'm a little bit stronger. And these guys are gonna play cat and mouse with me, so I'm just basically gonna play cat and mouse back. Oh, I hate this game. Denmark, no way is also kind of scaring me because I could have a secret, like, fortress somewhere. And I'm getting into a battle right here. Um, winning for now, but for some reason that usually happens, and I don't like that. Guys, shock him. Shock. Shock. Yes. Okay. Yes. Kill them all. Kill Denmark. Oh, sorry. Did that come out loud? Okay, um, let's go right here, okay. Alright, so we have all of our men. Basically the best ship we can build in the game. Right there. Engaging them by themselves, man. Wow, you are a gutsy ship. Okay, yeah, we're slightly winning against the uh, morale of them just because we have that one ship. Which is what I was hoping. I was hoping that would give us the tide of war that we needed. Um... Hunt them down. And now we're starting to win. Now we're starting to definitely win. Let's see, are we still winning this siege? Yes! Yes! Having that one Karak was my secret weapon, guys. That was my secret weapon that you need to do. You need to always build that Karak. Because you need to have, with the money you, you owe, that one Karak will basically mean you will have the dominant power over the army and just chase them. Chase them down. We need to make sure they all die. All die horrible deaths. And what I think I might do... Pope Consul elected new Pope, yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. How'd they get 25? Oh yeah, no ways fleet. Let's see. Can my men win this? No. Go here then. Well, it was a good chance. Let me just say that. It was a good chance for them to do stuff. Um, probably building one more would probably be all we need to do. You guys stop trying to build that. That's not gonna work. Okay. Building one more should be able to do it. Um, one more Karak. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take 64 days. What about here? 
691. That's a lot of days. Okay, well, I basically got this army trapped up here. Let's go kill them. <laughs> 7k versus 2k. This is a bad battle for them. This is definitely a bad battle for them. I feel bad. Kind of. Not really. They destroyed my they destroyed my navy. So it's time it's time for my very famous personal grudges and for people that are coming in. People that are just new to my stream or not new to my stream. New to my channel. Basically I have grudges that will last a very, very, very long time. Like it, you could almost say that they're almost uncanny because sometimes I'll be playing games and I'll hate this one nation because they did something in me to the other Nate. They did something to me in another let's play that wasn't really their fault and it wasn't really them but for some reason I still have that like personal like, hatred to them like ooh I'm gonna get you guys back for this and ooh I'm gonna so destroy you so no way we consolated its fleet that's always a good sign okay get out let's see if we can destroy some of these smaller small oh my goodness oh wait let's see June 21st can you guys get in there in time I think so. No! Let's see, how good are we at battling against no Normandy when they don't even have enough power? Our morale's basically crumbling, but we seem to be having the major stick in this. So let's go destroy these rebels. I'm not worried about Norway conquering my stuff, by the way. They seem to be pretty occupied with their own stuff. From here, what I'm going to do is try to get... Oh, why does that always happen? Seriously. You were like attacking the wrong place, Denmark. Wrong place. Alright. Let's go kill off this rebel band. Because rebels are really bad for your country. Over here, I'm not sure. It's honestly the bait. Come on, guys. Come on. Bring them down just a little bit more. Okay. You guys, let's go kill this Denmark army that's trying to be made. And then from there, what we're going... Okay, we have to quickly go kill these guys. Because now they're becoming way too big. Like, way too big. Way too big. Alright, there was a... Alright, so there's a slight delay. Let's go right there. There we go. I think I just stumped the AI. Yes. I stumped it. Alright, that is going a close battle. Uh... Dang it. Hoping I could win that, but no, it obviously wasn't meant to be. Uh, Alright. From here, I oh mean, I really need to, like, we need to kill this army before it gets any more powerful. Let's see. Will you guys accept peace, though? Wait, what do I have to get to get peace? Because I have to know this. Okay. I just want... Demand tribute offered to you. We negotiate on B. What we could do. Are we actually fighting for land right now? Okay, they will accept that. No, they won't. White peace, Sweden will remain a subject of Denmark. No! What the heck? So you only made your subject to Denmark. No, what? No! There we go. Okay, so I have to get 25 war score. And I'm sorry guys, that is an episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Right now, we're starting to get into a little bit shaky situation with all these other people coming out and... I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.